Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. We have recently upgraded the air compressor in our shop with the DeWalt DXC M303. It is a great little compressor, but we're gonna walk you through our initial impressions and some of the features on it. Hey, stick with me. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. So far, we are loving this DeWalt DXC M303 vertical tank compressor. Now, there's some features on this that I wanna to mention to you and also some clarification. There's a little bit of confusion about whether this is a single stage or two stage compressor. It is a single stage compressor. It has dual pistons here in the air pump uh, but it is single stage. That is just in one rotation or cycle, air is both brought in and pressurized and then put into the tank uh, for delivery to the tools using a regulator and all that or for whatever work you've got this attached to. So it is single stage. Uh, one thing I really like about this compressor is that it is oil lubricated on the air pump. So there's a nice sizable sump right here. Uh, this is where you go ahead and fill it. This is where you drain it from. Uh, and that's really easy. The air um, filter unit is right on the side here, easy to access to clean. Uh, it has a nice sizable um, cooling uh, fan that is aluminum. So it is easier for the unit to start it and to get the air going so it's less drag on the startup when the capacitors kick in and the motor starts up. Uh, you get an easier, smoother startup. Full cage around all the components here to keep me and visitors to the shop safe. Uh, and so that is very nice. Uh, the fit and finish on the unit looks to be very nice. Has its standard control and on and off valve, plus the pressure tank, um, indicator, which is standard, but also the regulator that is uh, then attached to a standard uh, connector, quick connect hose, that which I've just put regular compressor hose, and you can see I've got, got air in it right now. So all that's nice. Um, by its very design, you have to be careful with these though. They're top heavy. The majority of the weight on this is all on the very top. So when you do roll and transport, if I took this and rocked it forward, I'd have trouble controlling it. I'm on the wrong side of it. It'd want to tip, want to dump over on its side. So when you're rolling around or putting it in position, uh, you want to be very careful. It's got nice pneumatic tires. However, and we'll show this in a future episode, this is going to be mounted around the corner behind me in a separate little room up on a platform that makes it easier to do a couple things. One is to uh, change out the, um, the air uh, filter here, but most importantly is to drain the tank, uh, this tank, ongoing of any water that's built up. And that is very important because corrosion of the tank can lead to catastrophic tank failure, which can mean injury or even, unfortunately, death. So what you wanna make sure is that this tank is drained regularly. Putting it up on a platform is gonna make it easier to do that instead of having to get down on my hands and knees, reach under and locate that valve and blow out the water of it ongoing. So those are some couple things that we like right off. Price point for this unit. Um, this is about a $600 unit if you buy it at Tractor Supply Company. I found that it was right at $599 plus tax. Elsewhere, it could be $100 to $300 more for exactly the same unit. And I'm talking exactly the same unit. Uh, when I picked it up from Tractor Supply, they had it in stock near our home. was able to take it home the same day that I wanted it. And it was fully assembled, ready to go, and ready to put to work. When you start up this unit, after the first 20 hours, you need to change out the oil and you want to use compressor oil. Check out this video where we tell you about uh, why it's important to actually use dedicated compressor oil and not regular motor oil. We'll explain that in that other video and not take time to do that right now. Another thing that you would be interested in knowing about on this is 
the horsepower on this or RPM. This is a 3450 motor. Uh, it's a single phase 60 hertz. Um, and it is made in China by Matt Industries, matindustries.com. As far as horsepower goes, it's two horsepower. Uh, so it's a nice motor startup. If uh, for some reason you overload or overtax this and it needs to shut down or overheat, you can shut it off using the standard control here. And there's a reset button there to start it all over again. As much as I like this compressor, uh, and it looks like it's well made. I do want to take exception with DeWalt and some other manufacturers that seems to be very common practice. And that is to emblazon tools with this huge made in the USA uh, logo, but right below it with global materials or something to that like. This is a workaround, meaning that many of the components on the machine are actually sourced usually from Asia and China. And that's certainly the case on this particular compressor. If you look right on the motor, it says completely made by Matt Industries, made in China. Worse yet, if I go down to Home Depot and look at their alternative to this compressor, they have a compressor that is identical to this one under the Husky brand with a different paint job. Identical down to the motor, the placard on the motor, and the manufacturer. So Husky, DeWalt, other major tool manufacturers that are embracing this practice, it, it's offensive. Um, to do that and say it is assembled here like that's a big deal, I'm gonna challenge you and ask you to start onshoring as much possible manufacturing and support the American worker base, the technology, and citizens here directly. I understand it's difficult to get parts a lot of times or to do it economically, but guys, you've got enough money you can start resourcing back in and maybe building some manufacturing plants where you do this directly. It would sure be honoring to the American worker and to us as citizens if you do so. And meanwhile, this is pretty disingenuous, these little tags to just put made in the US huge with little global. If you're gonna be honest, assembled from global parts in the United States of America would be much more honest and less offensive to other tradespeople, craftspeople, and hobbyists like myself. Well, that's enough of the soapbox here. There are three other areas on this compressor that I think can benefit with some aftermarket uh, accessories. One is the air filter. The secondly is to drain this uh, where we're draining the oil sump, making that easier to open and close the valve on that. And the last one is making it easier to drain uh, the, uh, the water out of the air tank with a more convenient valve system. Check out this video right above where we'll show you where to get all three of those accessories and how easy they are to install. You know something else that people get really curious about with air compressors is what's the difference between an oil lubricated uh, air compressor and an oilless? Well, check out this video where we do a side-by-side -side comparison of an oilless and oil lubricated air compressor, including the sound output and how the two different machines run. You'll walk away a lot smarter about air compressors. And then check out this other video that YouTube thinks you're really interested in, and we hope so too, you'll enjoy it. In the meanwhile, this is Dirt Farmer Jay, enjoying this beautiful new compressor.